farm. What about uh, Johnny, that uh, business of, of uh, taking, having some of the Negroes, the good hands, you know, and good women, and good men going off and breeding them like cattle. Do you remember anything about that? No, I didn't know. And Stephen, they wouldn't let children know of that, you know. But I heard it after, after mm -hmm. that they do that. But Stephen was coming up and wouldn't let us know anything about them like that. But they say that was show so. You know, just like a big fine looking woman, a big fine looking man, you know. Old boss wants, you know, children from him, you know. They just fasten them up in the house or somewhere, you know, going off and leave them in there. You want to breed them like they were hogs or horses, something like that, I say. Yes, sir. And they say that's the way they used to do in slavery time. Did they whip the slaves much? Do you remember how whether they whipped them? The, the biggest whooping ever I know to give to him Martha Albert. The biggest whooping that ever I know. Mr. Benton they didn't whoop his niggas much. They had to do something mighty, mighty, you know, bad for him to whoop them. Well, did the slaves ever try to slip away? Did they ever try to run off? No, not no, not not no on the place where we was. I never hear them say they run off over there, run off. Other places I hear them stay in the woods, and uh, so long until they wear the clothes off them, slip up. Now I heard Mama say when she was a girl, when she was good, no, she 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 brought me Mississippi when she was a girl. That 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 one old woman run off. She did run off. The beat her so she run off. And every night she slip home and somebody have her something to eat, something to eat. And she'd get that vittles and go on back in the woods, go on back, stay in the woods. And they, you know, just uh, they tell the others, you know, could you see, I don't know what their name, see so-and-so, ever see them? Say no. Well, you tell them if they come home, we ain't gonna whoop them. We ain't gonna whoop them if they come home. You can come on back. I don't want to hurt you bad. Well, I'd be all the way over there they'd come. Said once this man stayed in the woods so long, tell you his hair on him long like a dog. Well, just growed up, you know, and stayed in the woods. They stayed in the woods. And they couldn't get him out. Well, did any of them run off and get plum free? Were they? Did you ever hear of I hear talk about, about them. I hear them talk about it going off, you know, going off the places where they're free. But well, here, here, well, I hear her say, I didn't know that. She said, just like she be some white people, you know, would some nigga come along, you know, and he just get him off, you know, take him, carry him off, where he wouldn't be, you no know, tell him, wouldn't be no slave, or wouldn't be beat up, you know, and carry him off that way. Mm -hmm. Still, two, three, they'd say that white folk could carry some three or four, you know, colored people off that way. Or pick up children, say, used to go in the wagons, you know, go around wagging with the covers on them. I, I've seen covers since I've been beaten up with wagon, with covers on them, and just take them and go on. Well, when I was a child, I see a little boy, a man jumped out of the old covered wagon and caught the child, caught him, and got for his bell with the child. Well, I ring that, that a slave, I don't know. That a slave, but they caught him, caught the child. And I had a grandchild that they taken off. Is that right? Who took him off? Well, the show people, I didn't took him off. I don't know. They took him off. They sealed it. What do you know? Yes, they took that child off. Mom didn't have but that one. <laughs> and they took it off. That's fair. Come off with it. They took it off. But they got it at such a time. Well, can you remember how the, what, what happened when they set you free? Can you, you remember how the old master acted when they... No, so I can't remember that, you know, can't remember that. But I, I remember, you know, the time they give them a big dinner, you know, on the 19th. Is that right? On, on the 19th, you know, that's called, they said, have to give them a big dinner on the 19th. But now we didn't know. I'll tell you, I don't hide the other side of the folks, you know, freedom. We didn't know. They just thought, you know, we're just feeding us, you know. Just had a long table. And just had uh, just a little everything you want to eat, you know, and drink, you know. And, that, and they said that was on the 19th. And everything you want to eat and drink. Well, you see, I didn't know what that was for. I just, you know, 
Jay wasn't wise like the children is now. You anything can go up now, a child six, seven years old can tell you. That's right. Yes, sir. It wasn't wise. We, uh, that's the way they done us. Give us a big dinner, Mr. Bethany. Yeah.